everybody! So, recently I got this new tube of Winsor & Newton designer gouache. And I wanted to compare it to my artist loft gouache that I got from Michaels like a couple years ago. This is very cheap. Um, it came in a set and I think the set was about $12, I think. Maybe $20. Um, and there's 12 tubes of gouache which means this was between one and two dollars somewhere. It's 12 millimeters. And I, I started running out of this. So I was like, ah, let, let's upgrade. I wanna upgrade. So here's the Windsor & Newton gouache. Um, this tube is 14 milliliters. It's lemon yellow, they're both lemon yellow. And I wanted to compare it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So here on my brush is the Artist Loft gouache. It's very nice. I think for its price, it does very good. Um, I'll also water it down because some people like to use it. For me, I have a hard time getting the yellow to be opaque when I layer it over other colors, which makes sense because it's a bright color, but I'm curious if it'll do better, if the Windsor will do better. Alright, let's open this baby up. Oh wow, it's already open. On the Artist Loft, they have like tin foil, uh, like, sort of like lids, um, and you have to puncture them. The Windsor's already open. Seems kind of watery already. And just like that, it already feels smoother. Maybe it's because it's m more watery, but it feels smoother to lay down. It also looks a little brighter than the Artist Loft. Let me water it down. It seems to flow really easily in the water. It looks much brighter than Artist Loft, but it's still wet. See what they look like when they dry out. Okay, I also want to mix it with with some colors. I like using Prussian blue a lot. This is Artist Loft. I don't have any other Windsor & Newton <laughs> tubes yet. Uh, I'm going to buy more probably as I run out of this Art Artist Loft gouache. I'm gonna pick up bit of both colors. There's some blue on there, if you can't see it, because the paintbrush is blue. So this is uh, Prussian blue and lemon yellow from the Artist Loft. It's a little watery. I don't, don't want to waste it. It's a nice green. So this is a mix of the Windsor & Newton lemon yellow and the Artist Loft Prussian blue. So I don't have another blue. I can't say it's much different. It looks pretty similar. Maybe a little less granulated? Actually, you know what? I can see it's definitely warmer. It's a warmer green. The yellow is definitely brighter on that one. So, because I have that blue out right now, I'm gonna lay some down. Dry. And then I'm going to see how it looks layering the yellow on top instead of mixing it directly in. I'll see. Just put that down, put this down. I'll layer the yellow over that to see if they can go over pen. I don't think many people 
use gouache over pen, but it's it's more to see how they uh, how opaque they are. I'd say so far, the Windsor & Newton gouache is a lot more vibrant. Here's the Artist Loft Lemon Yellow. It does pretty good. You can still see the pen, but the yellow is not a very opaque color in uh, gouache. Pretty similar. Maybe a little more opaque. Not well. <laughs> yeah, maybe it is. I'm curious what what kind of oranges I could get with this yellow. I have a hard time mixing bright oranges in the layer that artist loft. I'm trying to do it kind of gently. It's picking up a lot of that blue, but that's pretty normal. I'll bet the Windsor does it too. Oh, I forgot to mention the price of the Windsor and Newton gouache. Yeah, that was about $11. Um, so a lot pricier. You do get two more milliliters out of this tube, but it's still a lot higher per milliliter. Oh, wow. I did not expect that rubbing it. It picked up a lot less blue than the artist love gouache. It seems to have less of a matte texture than the, than the Artist Loft yellow. It does look a little more vibrant to me. I'll also try it with this Vermilion from Artist Loft. orange, I like that. does it does look more opaque but it also looks like I put more paint down there I'd say if you're on a budget go for the artist artist loft it's pretty good for what it is but um, the Windsor is making smoother textures this is much smoother than that same here there's a lot less granulation here than there is here it also looks like the orange is lighter than this is, I think, for me, because I can afford it, I'll be buying more Windsor, just because I'm really enjoying how smooth it is. It's very nice texture, very smooth, easy, it flows well. This is a little harder to work with. So yeah, I would say go with Windsor if you have the money and you're invested in your art and you like using bright colors, go with Artist Loft if you don't have as much money and maybe don't know where your art's going. If you're a beginner, this is really good for you. This is more for professionals. I can't say I'm a professional, but I just like my hobby that much. 
So yeah, thanks for watching.